recorded. Do you remember how to read this? I don't remember. It's omoi, though. Yep, it is omoi. You don't remember, but you did remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. I, I, I get confused this with, um, <laughs> I was, okay, maybe. This this sounds the same as omoi as in to think. Oh, like omo. Right. Um. Yeah. Omo. Just, there well, we go. Well, like omoi mas. So the stem form would be omoi. So like omoi hajimeru would be to begin thinking. So I see. I see where that comes from. Yes, they can I... be the same. Correct. And what does omoi mean? This omoi. It's mean heavy. Yes. Perfect. And our next or does word... it ever mean to stack? Mm, does it ever mean to stack naru. on top of something? Um, kasanaru, kasanaru has the kanji for omoi in it, but it's a verb. So heavy is an a is an adjective omoi, and when you hit this kanji and you put it into a verb, which is kasanaru, that does mean to stack. Makes sense. Got it. Um. So our next word is monosugoku. Which ends with a ku, so we know this is an adverb. Do you have any guesses what this might mean, especially the sogoku part? Um, it's mean great, something yes. great. Yeah, it's basically like super great. So sogoku is like amazing, great, and mono means like adding thing of great, but it's just a way to say super duper great. Um, I... Okay, now you get to go read the line from the book. If you can remember the a reading. combo no kobushi kurai no chisana ishina no ni monosugoku omoe. So, a combo is something red. Yes, it is huh. something that's red. Normally, in their face, this thing will have a very red face it's a baby <laughs> a, combo. a combo is a baby okay so uh no kobushiku rai kobushiku rai roughly about kobush yes. kobushi yeah, kobushi. Is... kobushi i don't remember this uh kobushi is fist a fist Hi. ah Okay, so the fist, the baby fist, is roughly right. small as a stone. Nice. Now let's Nanoni. actually go look at how these are being connected to each other. We got ishi that's being described as chisana, which is being described as um, akachan no kobushi kurai. So what do you? So is it saying um, the baby's fist is the same size of a stone? What what is it actually saying? It's saying the stone is roughly the size of a baby fist. Yes, and that's how small it was. It was as small as a baby's fist, basically. Right. No ni. And so how would we translate na no ni? Well, so na. Um, na is there because ishi is a noun. And it's kind of like the glue between these two. It's like a weird glue. So you can't say ishi no no ni. It's kind of hard to to do, so instead it becomes ishi nanoni. Mm. So so why do is... they have to say at? Why did why is that the particle ni meaning at the at the stone? Ah, uh, so you forgot in this grammar. I'll flop this. Where is the noni? Right here, comparing noni. Mm -hmm. So noni is basically a. Thing that means um, even even though kind of um, I can't really oh, say right. why it's like me for toward like why specifically it's is composed of no and ni, but that's the meaning of this. So if I said um, yami ni kakureta no ni higure no kimi wa mitsuketa means even though I was hiding in the darkness, the man of twilight found me. So no ni is just a way to say even though. Even though. Hi. Right. So here it's even though it's a rock that's as small as basically the size of a 
baby's fist. What? Um, omo, omo sugu, omo sugoku, omo. Hi, it's heavy. Omo. It's quite super heavy. It's amazingly heavy. heavy. Yes, it's super duper heavy. Heavy. Okay. Do you know what kokoro means? Kokoro, heart. Do you know what shinzo means? Shinzo is the actual heart, the yes. organs. Yes, the physical heart. Since you already know it, I won't go into detail of that. Um, this right here. Do you know how to this word starts with? It ends with zo. So shin shin yep. shinzo. Yep. Perfect. And our next word is mukao. Mukao is to face towards. Mukao. Facing. Mukao. Hi. Um, Hi. can you read this for me? Motoko no shinzo wa. Omokunai. What does this mean? The man's heart is not heavy. Perfect. Um, how is this pronounced? Do you remember? Mukau. Perfect. Mukau. And what does mukau Mu mean? To face towards yes. the directions. Yes. Okay. So here we have mukau, and it's saying, um, what do you, what do you think particle should go in here? So facing towards the wakimichi. Hi. Um, so let me remind myself. This is sakamichi no yep. hochu no wakima waki wakimachi wakimichi. Hi. So on the on the way, on 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 the slope. Hi. On the way to the slope. This there's this. The side street turn to turn towards the side street, meaning yes. knee. To yes. Turn towards the target. Yep. So facing the side street that is basically halfway up the hill road. Specifically, it's not halfway up. It could be anywhere between the top and the bottom, but pro but halfway is like an easier way to say that in English. Somewhere on that. Yes. Um, Sakamichi. Hi hi. Somewhere uh, on the Sakamichi, hi. up the the side street. <laughs> um. So, hi. knife form. What is the knife form of this word? Knife form of the verb is. So, om. Omokata. No, 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 no. I keep getting. So, omokata is the um, past tense. So this is Omo, was heavy. Omokanai. Yeah, no, that's pretty close. Omo, Omo kunai. Yes, kunai. There we go. Uh, yes, omokunai. Hey, omokunai means not heavy. Perfect. Nice. So this part started with sheen. How did it end with? It's end with zo. Perfect. Sheen zo. Um, can you read this word for me? Koshudai. Uh, koshudai. So Koshudai is the gallows. So if you've ever played Hangman, <laughs> that's what they're talking about. Koshudai. Okay. This is why we have right here neck in it. Koshudai. Because you're going to hang what, from the neck. What is that first? Cool. That first kanji, do you know what it? It looks not like a, school. Isn't that it, the kanji in school? It is not the kanji for school. It has. Hogaku. It has part of the kanji for school. So if I say um um ko ko right here, as you can see the little stick on the side is a little bit different. But uh ko I see ko. there. Yeah, a little different. So this okay, is so it this one actually has yeah. something to do with rope or thread because it had with... that signifier for rope. Well, since they're being hanged by their neck, that makes logical sense. Yes. Okay. That's so good. Can you read this? So sentence? now I remember. Yes. So it's ko shudai ni mukao otoko no shinzo wa omoi. Meaning the the man's heart was heavy. Uh, the man's heart is heavy. Uh, how did I say it? When he turns with the 
So yeah, the man's man heart that, that turns toward... toward the gallows is heavy. Yeah, it's a little hard because you want to say the man's heart. So now we're going this way before we're doing that. Well, the man. The so man's... it's more. So it's kind of like the heart of the man that turns towards yeah. the gallow is heavy. Perfect. That that's how you do it. So this kanji right here, I decided to Google a word that has it. it shows up in the word shiboru, which is to squeeze or to wring something, like to wring a neck or a towel. So shiboru. Yep, shiboru. Not a super common word, of course, but it makes sense why it's in here. And da, you know, is like machine like thing, like not like machine, but like mm. contraption, I guess. So contraction for wringing necks. Gallows. Hi. Well, I was gonna make a point on the word kan the kanji for cult. Um, having known that 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 little the right side pronounces cult is it's very helpful for me because the next time I come across another kanji that have that component, and I have to guess what the pronunciation I will remember that it's cult, same as this cult, same as the cult mm. in hi, hi, hi. So so. Uh, so now we have konani, sonani, and annani. Um, when we have this ni added to it, these do slightly have a difference in meaning of like a scale. So annani is the most, and konani is the least. But what these are doing is basically saying that sort of thing. It's it's being used to kind of like underline either like the subject or the object or something like that was something with a verb in the sentence to kind of make it like dramatic a little bit. So it's like, it's that special type of like thing. So it's a way to add um, mm. stress. So so for them to say anani, meaning they very feeling yes. uh, emotional about something, yes. as opposed to if they say konani, they're surprised, but they're not that surprised. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's basically the difference. Um, if the knee's okay. not here, then the difference is actually just how close you are to the thing that's being stressed. So that could be either like a to talking about a topic or something like that. So it could be time closeness or physical closeness. Like, konna it, if the knee is not there. Yes. So the knee is the one that makes it um, the degree of how stressed it is. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. So let's it. go read the sentence. Okay, so this sentence is saying, um I I did not think uh I did not think that such a that it was that heavy. I, I, did, I did not think it was that heavy, the man's right. heart. I did exactly. not think the man's heart was that heavy. Yeah, I did not think the man's heart was that heavy, or this heavy might be easier in this context. Perfect. So our next thing is datte. This is basically a way to say even in Japanese. Uh, for example, can you read the sentence for me? Dorobo datte. Yes. So saying even a thief can make um things before your eyes disappear, you know? So that that, that is right here, here. Don't know about that. Even a thief can do this. Um ah. so I guess I probably yes. should do this, which is potential form I wanted to. Throw this in here. What if I had used this no need instead of that there? There would it give the same connotation? Mm, it's a little bit new. This this right here is more like, even though it's you, you can't really. It'd be dorobo na no ni, uh, me no mai no mono keseru yo is kind of weird. Uh, it's saying even though it's a thief, it made it, it it was possible to make something disappear. <laughs> So like the okay make no sense. It, it's kind of kind of a weird sentence, like especially contextual wise. Uh, so I see. So this this even though this even if is 
it's not the same even though and even if there's no need it's like yeah so that they can also you know just go after a noun even though the no need should be going after a clause as well um, hi so potential form okay. so the way you make potential form is adding edu and killing the u so for example niru becomes nireru so to be able to be to look like something else how would you change kesu to make something disappear into potential form? To be able to make something disappear. We'll turn it to kiseru. Yep, kiseru. Which was that line we just saw. Um, our next thing is kitto. Do you happen to know what kitto means? Ho oh, mark the... Oh. So ki. I think you've taught me this one already. Kitto meaning like just happened or something. No. That's a good guess. So you're thinking Happen about quickly. sake. Sake. Sake was something that just happened. But kito actually means like definitely. It's like a way you can like modify. It's like it's an adverb. It does end with to. It's like for sure. Definitely this happened. Kito tasukete um, kureru. Would be like, I'll definitely be saved, for example. So it's a way to just kind of add okay. the word definitely to a sentence or for sure. Um, yes. Okay, let's go read our sentence from the book. Okay, so. Koshudai ni mukao otoko no shinzo date. Kito konna ni omo kunai. Okay, so it's saying. Um, Turning, okay. The man's, even though. Leave that uh, though. The, yeah. The, the man's heart was heavy turning towards the gallow. Uh, so even the heart like, of a man. So definitely. Uh, so even the heart of a man facing the gallows. Right. Even the heart of a man facing the gallow will definitely uh, not heavy, not that heavy. Yes, would definitely not be this heavy. Well, so kona, kona is like this. I guess. I guess. He's talking about, about the stone. I get between, it. Yeah, I guess. I guess the difference. Uh, what I was talking about earlier is the difference between sonani and annani. Uh, I guess konani is probably more like the physical aspect, while sonan anna is more of the dramaticness it's definitely not this heavy um but yes uh the context is definitely um the magical stone that he's holding okay kanji check you know yeah you know money on this point though on the konani point i feel i'm just throwing it out there i feel as though it's similar to how you taught me in previous lesson where the cult is referring to something that was mentioned previously it definitely so since the can previous, be for that. Right? Um, am I am I kind my of. intuition is off? That that is where that comes from. Um Konani he was talking is about, not this heavy. But is it also the case that because he was talking about the stone being heavy, um compared to the the size of the baby fist, that now in this sentence he's using Konani to referring again to the to the idea uh, of I don't the think heaviness. He, did he talk about heaviness in the previous sentence? It's, I think he did. Oh, he's talking about the size. I think what he talked about oh. in the pre whoa. What he talked about in the previous sentence was um this was last You're right. Week. The size it was, I think he was the... eagerly looking at the item, I think is what we left off at. No, no, I'm sorry. I I was saying the previous sentence when he was talking oh, about you're right. it's being the size of a baby fist. And I'm kind of... You're right, uh, right. Yeah, it says... It's, conflate it's, that it's, with the idea of... Yeah, you're right. It did talk about heaviness. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, he did do that. Um, This can be used like that. Um, A lot of times with the knee added there, it can, add, it can, it can be a degree thing. But I do think you're right that in this context, it's more... Not the degree, it is the previously mentioned thing. But that's the same as in English. 
it's not this heavy this uh normally refers to something in your hand the thing i was talking about before uh is probably just a difference between sonna sonani and annani mm. or it could be it referring to him having physical um possession uh, of the thing he's talking about so sonani cannot be used some... for that um sonani uh sonna is used to refer to something close can be so the soul sorry the so we have um ko so and a um ko refers normally refers to something close to the speaker hi um so refers to something close to the listener and a refers to something close to neither not how you spell that word um and that's how these are always normally used so if you say like um uh like so this ne that that comes after somebody says something so somebody said something you say so this ne you're saying the thing that you the person who's listening to me speak said is correct so that's kind of like an example of that, how the soul is being used for something like that. Or you can say ko right. omo will normally refer to the next sentence said. That's that's closer to me because I'm thinking of it right now. And then soon you, the listener, will be hearing that. So it's closer to me currently than it is to you. And you wouldn't really see like, ah, oh, oh, doesn't really exist in these two contexts. But th that's kind of how all three of these tend to work. Um, but I have seen Anani use, even though it was close to full speakers, to express that it's really dramatic, kind of. Mm. Um, I believe I have. Should probably like double check that, I guess. I could have just been teaching that wrong. Um, I definitely know when that's not there. It is definitely based off of when the item was last occurred, either last brought up in the conversation or um, last um, actually like happened. Uh, but yes, so th this does t normally, it, it is a stressing word though, because otherwise you just would say, kore, kore, kore wa omokunai, right? Kore wa kore wa omokunai yeah, means this, this is not, not heavy. heavy um it's so konna is different than kore so like kono ishi is just this stone kono ishi konna ishi yes. is this stone with the underline going on on stone right it's like stressing this word So yeah, that mm. that that that's just how like kona is adding extra meaning to the ko soul and um ah. But yeah, hi. That's that. Uh, yes. kanji check. Do you remember how this is read? That was from last week. Yes, it is kizukasu. Perfect. Kizukasu. So our next word is tsukao. Do you have to know what tsukao means? Go is to um to use. Yes, to use. Nice. So now you're gonna have to just learn that kanji. Scout. That is. Hi. Um. So what particle do you think we should go in here when it's saying to use a magical stone? Oh. Yes. Mado seki o. Yep. Mado seki o. Scout. Um. So our next word is wakaru. Do you know what this means? Uh, it, it means to understand. Yes, and it is an uverb. Nice. Uh, how would it's, you read this? Yeah, I've seen it in context where it means to cut up something, to pieces. Mm. Too is that right? You, I think I have a different word. Maybe wareru. Maybe wareru. I think you're right. I don't know. Wakaru. Okay. Wakaru. I'm not spelling that. Wakaru. As far as I know, wakaru can only mean um, to understand with either this kanji, which is judgment, or this one to understand you in see general. number one? Yeah. That's the one I'm referring to. That does not mean the cut. I remember. Okay. 
got it. This, this is this is the generic um understand, and the second one afterwards is to understand after making a judgment. Uh, yeah. The I reason I say that, that to the number one is because that kanji is saying cut cut things up into eight pieces. Hi. But it, and, it's okay. That just might be the kanji. Yeah, it might just be the kanji. But yeah, well, kadu, as far as I know, has never meant that. Um, I am curious if this is like to understand by deciphering something. So yeah, uh, yeah. Well, Kadu doesn't have that meaning. There's a different kanji to insinuate different meanings. So this is like to understand by di di by decipher to, to like to deeply understand something like on the scientific level, I guess, like language. Um, or this is mm. to make a judgment. And I guess this one right here is a generic. So you'll see it with these kanji that insinuate that, but they're all the same word. But yeah, it, it never means to cut things up um what it do does mean to break something like to break to split so that's my guess of the word you were thinking of though um boon Hi. does mean like minute <laughs> so i can kind of see where that came from otherwise from the kanji but yeah nope Hi. okay um how do you read this word scout Either hin. Yep, hin. Correct. Skao hin. You taught me the other reading. I don't uh, Shina. Right Shina is the other meaning, but um, you don't need to know that yet because we haven't learned the word that has Shina in it in this book yet. I just like was vaguely mentioning that. On its own, this can be hin or Shina depending on context. Um, I believe it's hin in this context. And then now I feel like I should double check in the book. But uh, skao hin is a relative clause rather than like a word in itself. What do you think it means? Useful item. Mm. Use, usable item. Yes. Usable goods. Yes. A goods a good mm. that is usable. Good that is used for perhaps. Skauhin. Nice. Um usable do you know what good. the ta form of wakaru is? The ta form this is Godan. So it would have to be Wakata. Perfect. Yep. Wakata. Nice. So now we have another kanji here. Does this look familiar? Yes. Very familiar. This is the Jutsu. Yep. It's Jutsu, which is like technique. The... Hi. Hi. Nice. Um, so what's this word then? Uh, ma jutsu. Yes, so that's a magic what? Magical skills. Yes, a magic technique, a magical skill. Hi. Um, can you do me a favor and read this for me? Madoseki wa ma jutsu ni sukao hin. Hi. So right here, we're using ni rather than o, because the idea is that the thing that you're scowling is not ma jutsu, it's the hin, it's the madoseki. These are what's being um scout. So this wa right here is actually um topic wa, not um subject wa necessarily. Um what do you think this is saying? And that Okay, so that ni here is referring to uh the 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 usable item is is being used for the purpose of magical skills. Yes. Yeah, so a magical uh, stone so... is an item that you can use for magical skills basically. Or use with magical skills could be another way you could think about it. I, yeah, need scowl is a grammar point, I believe, that is basically is used when you're defining um the use of something. I see. Okay. Do you happen to know what this guy's pronounced as? Yes. She, as in master, I, as in she uh, instructor. Majitsi. Perfect. So now we have koitsu, which has that ko in front of it. Do you happen to know what koitsu means? Koi, ko, referring to this. Yes. Itsu, referring to something. Koitsu, referring to this something. Yeah. So I said I always translate it as like this guy, because koitsu, soitsu, and aitsu have a little bit of a personality happening, to, like personal, like person humanification going on when you use it. Because otherwise, you'd say like kore, right? or are or sore, which is just that or this thing, right? Um, so you would only really use koitsu and stuff like that. There's some 
a little bit of humification going mm-hmm. on though you do not use these really with humans like for example if you're talking about your car you a, most a lot of people do not go like oh this is my car they say this lady this is my car you know it kind of mm-hmm. has a right. little bit of that kind of aesthetic going on so for example you shouldn't use koitu with your pen unless it's like your super duper lucky pen and then i guess you could use that um but otherwise you'd say kore wa pen this right rather than koitu wa pen. <laughs> is it fair to say is it similar to the idea that if you have a relationship with something if something is of significant to you then you even though it's a thing you can refer to it as a koitu yeah because it has um like it more than just a thing it had yeah. functions and it acted in a certain peculiar way like your car is going to act up like you say mm-hmm. your car if my car act up right is that maybe. is that what they <laughs> yeah okay maybe maybe <laughs> got it got uh it. what's this word right here uh sorry it's loading ma jutsushi hi um okay now let's go read the line from the book hi ah wakata koitsu wa majutsu ni sukao hin um majutsu shi no madoseki da he's saying oh yeah ah yay uh the magical stone of the magicians uh that guy this guy this guy this thing uh is is the equipment using to use for conjuring magic yay kind of. i i understand kind of a thing yeah so magic yeah, is understood. like a magical technique so maryoku so that's this word that shows us here maryoku which has chikara in it chikara which looks like that but i spelled it wrong chikara yeah. Um, this is magical, oh, magical power. power. Yeah, and ma ho right. is magic in general. So ma jutsu is like the magical spell, kind of the magical technique. So it's a thing that's used with magical techniques, basically. So it's kind of like uh, so like you know, there's different levels of like how um magic is being used. So ah, what got that? I was like, oh, I understand now. This guy is used for magical techniques. It's a magician's magical stone. Right. Next paragraph, kagayaku. Do you happen to know what kagayaku means? Let me give me a moment here. Kagayaku had the kanji for for something to do with light over yes, there. Yes, it does. Have then it had the kanji for military, which is random. Probably helps with the reading, um, maybe. Uh, kagayaku yes. means to sparkle. To sparkle, that would make sparkle. sense. Kagayaku with that. Hikari. Kagayaku. Hi. Um, do you know what the te form of this word verb is? This is miru. So it's mite. Hi. Perfect. Um, what particle do you think should go here to say sparkling magical stone? Sparkling magical stone. Ah, mado. Mado's. Madoseki ga. Hi, perfect. Kaga- Madoseki ga. Yaku. Hi. Um, do you remember what this guy was? Kagayaku. Yep, kagayaku. Nice. Um, do you know what hajimeru means? Hajimeru. Let's see. Give me a moment here. Hachimaru is I begin. Hachimeru is to it's begin to something. Begin. Hi, to begin. How could you combine these two words together? How do we combine the two words together? Yes. Uh, I just wonder if you remember this conjugation. Yes. Okay, I, okay so it's two verb. One need to be in the stem form. Hai. So haka yaki. Uh, haka yaki. <laughs> ah, sorry, sorry. Goodness, I am... I am conflating with something barbecue. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Perfect. Yep. That's exactly what you do. So this means kagayaku. to begin sparkling. You can program. Kagayaku becomes kagayaki and hajimeru. Perfect. Hi. So our next adverb is ji. And what do we add to it? Ji. Uh, this ji, ji, ji to. Yep. Ji to. 
So jitto is basically to means to not move. And it's commonly refers to like to stare fixedly at something. But specifically, it's referring to a period of time where you're not moving. So like you just stare without stare. So if you stare without moving at all, no blinking and stuff, that's really commonly modified with jitto. Um, what's this jitto is to do in. Yeah. This is kagayaku. Hi. And what did you want to say about jitto? <laughs> Oh, I think I'm having problem with adverbs that doesn't have kanji, that is short and it has similar sound like kito, chito, and then other to, and I get, and since it doesn't, I have I don't have any way of anchoring the meaning, mm -hmm. such that I would remember. So I end up not remembering what the adverbs are. My tip for adverbs is to watch more anime. <laughs> that's, mm. that's the tip. <laughs> the idea okay. how often G shows up in anime, like mm. oh my god. Chito, chito. Mm. Meaning to do something in a fix it way. Uh it's it right? basically means to freeze. To freeze. And don't blink. Don't blink. So if a character is making contact with somebody and not blinking, you will hear an anime. G that's that's a jito. That that that's the exact same word. It's just they're not modifying something with jito, so they're just having the word g. Because that's actually what it is. It's just it's kind of the sound effect. Ah, uh, okay. G. Got it. Right. Um. Okay. What is this? Oh, you already pronounced that. Kagayaku. Hi, kagayaku. Um. So we're here. I have midu, and I want you to. So it, so this is um to see a magical an, an item that is used for magical techniques, right? Um how do you Hi. how do you read this first? Mado jutsu. I'm sorry, ma jutsu ni skao hin o miru. Hi. So I want you to add jitto inside of this. You, where do you think it can go? We have A, B, C, or D. Oh, is this a trick? <laughs> like last time? <laughs> I'm thinking before the verb. So C. Yes, it can definitely go in C. It can also go in A. That'd be fine. I would say it can't really go into B because um this is kind of a clause right here. So it can't really interrupt there. But you could probably say jitto majitsu ni tsukau hi no miru. And you can't do D. So both A and C are grammatically correct. Um, you will see it more commonly over here at C position, but there's nothing stopping it from being in the A position. And that does occur. Uh, I have a quick question about yes. this point. So why would the writer decide to put the adverb far away from the actual verb? Uh, it has to do with do um, stressing things. So it just means that I'd have to see the example sentence, but basically it would be stressing a different part of the sentence, basically saying this other information is more important. That's why you move anything around, right? Is because most likely the first thing you show should normally be the more important information, I would assume. So they really wanted the focus on the jitoness, perhaps. Um, otherwise, mm. it can just be aesthetics. It, it doesn't really change anything other than they just want to say it. So, like, you know how people will argue, like, are these two sentences different? Not really. But one person mm. said one or the is, other. Hi. Is that true for, like, a time clause as well? Like, today, tomorrow, yeah. yesterday? Can you put those time clause anywhere in the sentence and it yes. will still keep the meaning? Yeah. Like, kyoa. Yeah, those should be able to go anywhere. But it's normally at the front because they're wanting the focus that, yes, today. Got to get that out there. But theoretically, it should be able to move wherever. Um, hi. hi. So how would we, I say um, the stone begins to glitter? The stone begins to glitter. We would use the particle ga. Ishiga. Yep, ishiga kagayaki. Perfect. Kagayaki hajimeru. Okay, so next is uchi. 